What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of my pathetic life as a homeowner. Cheers. And this episode is gonna be a little bit off topic off my actual house projects and I'm going into my jet ski projects here. This is gonna be a quick project here. Basically what I'm gonna be doing is spray painting these bumpers. These bumpers have faded so bad from the sun and they just look like shit. Um, I actually did use a heat gun on these things and I kind of use the heat gun, it works well but uh, give it a few months and they're back to looking like shit. Um, my jet skis are Yamaha Wave Runners 2011 uh, FX SHO and that one seems to be having all the problems. This is a 2011, this is a 2012. It seems like they updated the actual material for these things uh, away from this material which seems to have some sort of uh, side effect from UV, some sort of oxidi oxidization and whatnot. Anyways, I'm gonna be painting these things. I'm sure that doesn't sound new, but what I'm gonna be using is bed liner for trucks instead of just regular paint. So this stuff's uh, Herculiner. We'll see how that goes. Um, I think it'll work out. And let's, uh, let's go and take it from there, cheers. So I could be taking these off, but I don't want to mess with the screws just in case something happens and then it turns into a bigger nightmare than it is. So I'm just going to be taping all this off instead of messing with the screws. Step two, have a fucking beer. All right, next step, I'm gonna sand this off. Just hold on. Let me fly. I'm gonna sand this. I'm using uh, 80 grit right here, or 180, sorry, which is pretty aggressive, but realistically, this stuff's kind of got a ton of crap in it. I'm not gonna smooth all this out, I'm just gonna rough it up clean it off and then we're gonna spray it and that bed liner is gonna fill in all these holes and hopefully stick pretty well so here's 80 grit let's go all right I decided to wet sand it's getting pretty clogged up here so let's throw wet sand on it maybe it'll make it a little bit better Dry some of this stuff off, or rinse it off. A lot of shit came off. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna let that dry out a little bit have a beer or two, and then uh, we'll go from there. All right, last cleaning step here. Everything's dried off, and we're gonna throw some liquor at it. Actually, it's I propose isopropyl alcohol, uh, which is used to clean, usually in first aid situations, but it's also good for cleaning any random stuff. So let's clean that up. And that'll get all the excess off, and give us a nice surface to get the paint to adhere to. Gotta touch some of that stuff up. Nice and clean. Final masking job. Make sure we don't get paint everywhere.
hard. It shook this can for over a minute like the instructions say. So it's time to paint. Let's do this. All right, coat number three. This stuff is uh, takes quite a bit of time to dry, to be honest with you. It's tacky right now, and I have a feeling it's gotta cure quite a bit before uh, it actually hardens. But um, yeah, I'm going on coat three right now. Let's do that. I did three coats yesterday. Today uh, is day two, and uh, I let this sit for around 16 hours. It's pretty much dry, but it's still tacky in a few areas. But I'm gonna do a fourth and final coat, and this is it. And then uh, let this dry and take off all this crap and see how it ends up looking. Perfect. Well, there goes that idea. We're clogged up. All right, well, that's it. That was my fourth coat. I guess I'll let this dry. I'm gonna try to clean this out, but I don't think it's gonna work. I think it's pretty fucked up. I think I got it working again. There we go. Oops, that's a little runny there. All right, that's it, final coat, that's it. This uh, can's getting a really, really hard to press the button now. So it's starting to get clogged up. I'm pretty much done at this point. Let this dry. It takes around 24 hours to cure properly. Probably a little bit more than that. But uh, I think we're good to go. Coat four complete. It's pretty dry. It's pretty hard. I'm gonna strip all this stuff away. Herculiner is on four coats. Um, the Herculiner itself has got a bit of a gloss look to it. I actually kind of like it. Um, you might not. I think the other ones don't have that much of a gloss to it, but it is on now. And uh, I'll be honest with you, this stuff is uh, it's not cured fully yet, but I can tell just by touching it that it's pretty damn solid. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens when it comes up to. Uh, the dock scuffs and bumps and whatnot when it comes to parking the boat, but I think it's gonna be pretty good and it looks a lot better than it originally did. So my only question now is, should I bother doing the front or the sides and the front as well, or just leaving it as is? I don't know. You guys tell me, should I do it or should I not? I think, um, I don't know, I'm, I'm torn on it. I don't know, what do you guys think? Should I just leave it like this or? 
do the whole thing in this uh, this bedliner coat stuff. So, anyways, please subscribe. I'm gonna probably someday do a update on this thing after it gets beat up a few times on the docks and whatnot, and um, let's see what it looks like. I think it's gonna hold up, but we'll see. Cheers.